Welcome! Today we are going to find out how to install Freegate and configure your camera in order to detect objects and people, how to create masks and zones, enable your GPU hardware acceleration and even how to connect Freegate to Home Assistant so we can get notified when a person is detected. But before starting I will really appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe. If you don't have an AMQTT server, install EMQX and open it. The default username and password are admin and public. Change the default password with something more secure. Under access control click on authentication and create a new authentication method. Open the users tab and create a new Freegate MQTT user. Click on save and create another user for Home Assistant. Now, under Devices and Services, search for MQTT. Under Broker, paste your EMQX hostname, username, Home Assistant and the password of your Home Assistant MQTT user. If you already have a MQTT server, go ahead and create a new Frigate user. Now that we have a MQTT server set up, we can install the Frigate add-on. But before, we have to add a new repository to our add-on store page. Paste the repository link, which you can find in the video description, and click on Add. Close it and refresh your page. Here you can see that now we have Frigate has.io add-ons. We will install the Frigate full access version. Now, in order to later use the hardware acceleration of our computer, we have to disable protection mode. But before starting the add-on, we have to create a config file. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and install the file editor. Here, under the config folder, we have to create a new file called freegate.yml. In this file we have to specify our MQTT server with MQTT host, which is the host name of your MQTT server, user, which is Freegate, and password is your MQTT user password. Then we have to specify which detectors Freegate is going to use in order to detect motion and objects. If you don't have a Coral TPU, we will use two threads of our CPU as detectors, otherwise write this. And finally, we have to specify our cameras. Give a name to your camera and specify your camera stream. If you don't know it, search it on Google. Now we have to specify for which cases we want this stream to be used for by writing roles. And in my case, I want to use this stream for object detection, recordings and RTMP, which is the video stream that we will see through Home Assistant. If your camera has a higher res stream and a lower res stream, and you want to use the lower res stream for object detection and the RTMP, you can do that by writing this. Now, if we want to enable RTMP, we have to write RTMP enabled true. Keep in mind the first capital letter. If we want to enable recordings, we have to write record enabled true. And also if we want to enable snapshots, we have to write snapshots enabled true. Finally, in order to enable object detection, we have to write detection enabled true. The width and height of our camera stream and how many frames per second we want to analyze. And by writing objects, we can list the objects that we want to be detected. For example, I can detect peoples and cars. And if you want, there are other few settings that you can specify. Save your file and finally start Freegate. So here you have your basic Freegate configuration. As you can see, my camera stream has a timestamp which can create some problems because it can trigger motion detection. So, how can I mask it out? Click on Debug, Show Options and Mask and Zone Creator. Click on Add. Now we can draw a mask around our timestamp. In order to enable it, we have to copy our motion mask and paste it inside our Freegate config file. Restart Freegate and now, you, as you can see, our mask is enabled. Masks can be used also to improve performances. If you want to keep track of objects in a specific portion of your image, you can do it by creating a new zone. Copy and paste it inside your config file 
and in this zone I want to detect only people. So I have to write objects and person. Save your file and restart Frigate. Now Frigate in this zone it will detect only people. By default Frigate will detect only moving objects. In order to detect stationary objects in my config file under detect I have to write stationary interval column 20 and threshold 50. Which means that every 20 frames Frigate will search for stationary objects and it will consider an object stationary after 50 frames that it's not moving. You can take advantage of your hardware video card acceleration by writing under ffmpeg this if you have a raspberry pi otherwise you can find a link in the video description that explains how to enable it for other platforms but now how can i add my camera to home assistant in order to continue you have to install hex if you don't know how you can find my video up here open hex and search for freegate integration and install it now under devices and services, search for Freegate, paste your Freegate add-on hostname and click on submit. Now as you can see we have a device for our camera and a device for the zone that we define in our config file. Now that we have our camera set up in Home Assistant, I want to get notified when a person is detected and to do so I'm going to create a new automation. And I'm going to select as trigger every time Home Assistant receives a MQTT message with a topic of Frigate slash events. In actions, I'm going to select call service and search for notify and my device. Now select the three dots in the top right corner, edit in YAML and replace data with the following content. And finally click on save. Now every time Freegate detects a object from your camera feed, Home Assistant will notify you with a notification containing an image of the object detected. Tell me with a comment if you want to know more about Freegate. Bye!